guy later killed James. Wait, who killed James? The guy that I was dating in biology class. Turns out his siblings were dating each other. Bro, that is some twisty shit. Yeah. My stomach hurts so much. <laughs> <laughs> he is making fun of me because she comes upstairs and she's like, why is this chair here in the middle of your bathroom? And I said, because when I get ready in the mornings, I make her brother, I make my fiance sit here, do his little work. And I go, can you come to me? And I gathered Tiffany in the bathroom upstairs because my fiance is downstairs. And I saw this thing on TikTok and she said this was trendy on dying like years ago. You know how we did the cooking while talking about our exes video? I told him that we're doing something similar where we're just gonna sit and talk about our traumatic stories with our ex-boyfriends. But it's not a story about our ex-boyfriends. I am going to be telling the plot of Twilight instead. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go downstairs and see if my fiance is even gonna notice, first of all, but how is he gonna react? Because I don't think he's seen Twilight. If he has, I don't think he's gonna remember, so let's test this out. I really can't tell because it's my dog, but is this the cutest dog alive? or the most awkward dog alive. Today's vlog is gonna be really impromptu because I have the most insane story about an ex-boyfriend. I just found out that he killed someone. Oh my God, you're gonna freaking flip. I literally I found out. I you sound a little too happy. No, no, no. Okay, sorry. Why are you? I'm not I happy. I smile happy. when I'm nervous and it's the most insane story and I dated this guy for like two weeks. I completely forgot about him and then I got a DM from someone that I used to go to school with who told me that he was, he killed somebody. So before we get into that, I have been thinking a lot about relationships. I've been thinking a lot about getting married since it's literally in T minus one month now that I'm getting married. And you know what? This is what I've discovered. A partner is very much like a phone case. I'm just gonna put it out there. You know, you want them to be supportive. You want your partner to bounce back from hardships with you. You want them to be protected, but you also want them to be easy on the eyes. You want them to be attractive, something cute, because you gotta look at it every single day. It's gotta be in your selfies with you. It's gonna be with you all the time, in your purse, just pissing you off. Just being with you, okay? You probably don't wanna drop them from 21.3 feet in the air. That's like an ER visit. But maybe that's why Casetify is far superior than, I don't know as a significant other. With Case Device Bounce Case, you can have the most protective case ever, and it's got these expanded corners that allows your phone to simply bounce when you drop it, meaning that your phone is gonna bounce back from a low point. Is that literally not what we're all looking for in a partner? It's drop test approved up to 21.3 feet in the air with the new EcoShock Impact Absorption Tech. My fiance has his own EcoShock technology. This man, doesn't get shocked at anything I say or do anymore. And just like case to five phone cases, my fiance is the only other person that I would trust with my phone. And the cases are so pretty. I'm calling you pretty. You're welcome, okay? And back when we were so conditioned to believe that phone cases are supposed to be protective and ugly, but no, significant others, phone cases, phone cases come in all beautiful shapes and sizes and designs and they're literally all so aesthetic case defy has over 2,000 prints to choose from you can even customize your phone case with your initials to really let everyone know this right here is mine forever case defy also works with 300 artists from around the world to develop culturally diverse designs they work with korean artists as well as chinese artists which case defy even makes really good gifts because they're so unique and well designed and if you guys want things to make your life even easier you can grab a phone phone strap or phone charms. Phone straps are great when you're traveling to other busier cities. Did you know I saw a TikTok that was like, here what the hot girls in Paris are doing right now. And they're all wearing phone straps. And uh, someone that lives in Paris duetted it and goes, um, no, we're all wearing phone straps because it's <laughs> tourist season and pickpocketing is insane. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but uh, it is a hot girl thing. It's really cute. Make sure to check out casetify.com slash mango in the description for 15% off your new favorite phone case. And they have phone straps, cute charms. That's casetify.com slash this one's not mango, but tastify.com slash mango for 15% off your new favorite phone case and accessories. Can I tell you the craziest story of my life? How do I get up with this cutie patootie? This is the most insane story ever, honey. If you could just sit, please. I mean, I've been thinking about this all morning and I wanted to vlog it because really crazy things happen in life these days. So I never even told you guys about the fact that I dated this person because I think I dated him for like two weeks, but he recently unalived someone. So basically, when I 
was 17, there was this guy in high school. He was weird. I don't even know if I could call him my ex because we only dated for like two weeks, but he was my lab partner in biology class. And I've always heard about this guy throughout my whole high school experience. And he's just been known as like a loner. The whole family's kind of weird, right? So mm -hmm. the dad is a doctor and every single member of the family, they literally look, I don't know how their genetics are this strong, but they look so similar. The kid is kind of weird, but he's kind of like Like they're kind of, has a weird charisma. He's so quiet, but he maintains such eye contact with you that when you're 17, that's like totally new. No one when you're 17 maintains eye contact, but he would just stare me down during lab class and I was like, oh my God, I think he likes me. He kept staring at me and I was like, oh my God. And you're into that? Her, it was the weirdest thing ever because it was raining that day. You're into that, huh? Okay, listen how you're cringe I was. No, I wasn't into it. It was just new to me. And I remember the first conversation we had because I was so cringe. He literally goes, because it was raining that day. He goes, do you like the rain? And I was like, I don't like the rain or anything wet and cold. I don't know why I said that. And he's looking at me like, what's wrong with you? So anyway, he asked for my number. We start dating. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It was like not really dating, but it was like dating. I went to his house for my birthday party. Like he was throwing me a birthday party. I went to his house. All of his siblings were there and they were giving me like presents, which was so nice. I feel like most of his siblings didn't like me. Only one of the siblings really liked me. She was so nice, okay? And she got me a present for my birthday. And I was opening the present and I literally cut my finger on the wrapping paper. And one of the brothers flips it because he doesn't like blood. And he starts like, like hyperventilating or something. Uh -huh. So the guy that I'm seeing, he starts getting like, whoa, this is weird. Like I need to make sure everyone is okay. Mm -hmm. And he kind of pushes me back and I end up crashing into the, like this console table and there was a vase of flowers in there and I literally crashed into it and the vase broke and it cut my arm. Oh my God, I don't have this scar anymore. So then at one point, I have a family friend that I, like a really close high school friend of mine and he just kept warning me, Ugh, the signs were there. He just kept warning me to not date this guy. My friend, he's kind of like one of the alpha dog type of boys, you know what I'm talking about? Like he's the type of guy that likes to hang out with the bros on Saturday and they like to run through the woods shirtless. <laughs> I didn't know you have friends like that. Yeah. <laughs> So. Okay, so where is this going? Yeah, anyway, I date that guy for like two weeks and then he just fucking disappears. He stops coming to our school, his siblings stop coming to our school and his parents, they literally move out of town, out of nowhere. They don't say bye, he ghosted me. He literally moved out of town, ghosted me what? after like two weeks of dating. It was so weird. I think I was like really depressed. I was really in the feels. But then like now that I think about it in hindsight, there would be moments where the guy was kind of creepy. Like now that I had some distance, I realized he did some weird things. Like he told me he likes to watch me sleep. What? Yeah. What does that mean? So he came over and- He came over? I had to keep the door open because my mom told me to, but he came over and I remember I fell asleep and I woke up and he was just watching me sleep. What? And he says- He likes watching me sleep. So anyway, he disappeared. I got close again with my guy friend. Like, so where is this oh, going? Okay. I'm so confused. Okay, so then my lab partner, he comes back. Okay. And he literally tells me uh -huh. he came back uh -huh. because he couldn't stay away from me. I'm not even f***ing you right now. He comes back and he, he takes me to this bar and he says, like, I'm so different to him. He sounds unhinged. No. <laughs> is this guy unhinged? So we started dating again and I ended up playing baseball with his family in the woods. Like there was this huge thunderstorm, but it wasn't raining. And his family was like, we're gonna go play baseball right now in the woods. Baseball? Yeah, baseball. <laughs> so we go deep into the forest and we're playing baseball in like this open field, but there's no, nobody is there. So we're playing baseball, they're so fast. They like, all of them are like track stars. And I'm like trying to keep up. And then all of a sudden these three people show up. Uh -huh. Three people I've never seen before and we're in the middle of the woods in the middle okay. of a thunderstorm okay. I know it was like a crazy two weeks like a fight breaks out this fight No, they were like all up in each other's faces okay. and they were like throwing each other onto the ground But they weren't necessarily fist fighting yet, but it looked like they were gonna fist fight one of them even came up to me and Sniffed my hair <gasps> bro. These people were so creepy cool. one of the guys his name was James he was like and I was like, oh my god, this is so weird. So then the guy this? that I was dating was like, get off of her. And it was like a whole fight. But here's what I found out. This guy later killed James. Wait, who killed James? The 
guy that I was dating in biology class. But why you say it like that? What do you mean? Why are you laughing about this? I don't get it. Because I get really nervous when I talk about uncomfortable things. Apparently that guy was like threatening the guy that I was dating, like a lot oh. of his loved ones, and he killed him and set him on fire. Decapitated him and threw his head into the Wait, why are you laughing? So you're really nervous. So this is like a true crime case. No, but he's still free. Who's free? <laughs> I think it's a delivery. Oh, the phone oh. door. Jesus. Oh my god, that was so creepy. <laughs> <laughs> it was a delivery, but that was so freaking freaky. The craziest thing is, remember how he had disappeared for a second and I was dating my friend briefly? You were dating the friend too? Okay, like kind of, not really dating, Wait, but like kind of seeing each other. How many guys are you hiding? Anyway, anyway, we're kind of like seeing each other. Wait, anyway, we it's kind of pretty important to know, no? We were kind of seeing each other. And Ooh. Me and the friend with the long hair that cut his hair, like one of the boys, he's... Wow. Yeah. Wait, 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 who is this? I can't say names on here. Let's just call him Jacob. So you dated Jacob? And you know what's crazy about Jacob? He straight up told me he wants me to get pregnant because he thinks he'll have a special connection with my kid. <gasps> and then, you know the biology class boy? His siblings were dating each other. Turns out, they're all adopted! Bro, that is some twisty shit. Yeah. What, what are they doing right I, now? Well, okay, this is crazy, right? But I heard that they had some drama with Italy. That's with all who? I know. Italy, the country Italy, like the Vatican. Mm -hmm. Apparently, like the Vatican did something and they were up against the Vatican and like there was this whole drama where literally the most powerful people in Italy were against this family. Oh my God, it was crazy. And I heard that they met in like a big field to what, like hash you, it out. Where you got this information from? Like who told you this? My friend. It's crazy. Her name is also Stephanie. I never heard of that. Stephanie you Meyer. Have a friend. It's her last name. Oh Wait, are you sure about this? <laughs> no, like, I, I feel like you're making up shit at this point. Why did I be making up shit? Speaking of, the guy that I was dating, before he was transferred to our school, he went to like this really elite boarding school where you basically, I think it was in Europe, it was in the UK, he was living in a boarding school in the UK, like straight up Oxford Castle vibes. He was in like this tournament, uh -huh. which all the elite boarding school kids, I think it's three different um, elite boarding schools, and it's uh -huh. so elite. He was in this like boarding school competition mm -hmm. with all of these kids, and you have to be a certain age to be a part of this competition, but one of the kids in his school was not that age and I don't know how he got to compete but kids literally died in this competition there was like two students no one or two that literally died in this competition oh. during the competition like they would uh -huh. have to do really crazy oh my god why am I whispering they would have to do like really crazy things okay why are you so happy about this I don't understand because when it happens like like I find out the news immediately like this in such a shocking way I get smiley Okay. So, I forget, there was like a sports competition. There was a big maze that they had to get through. It was like a logic puzzle and a maze, like a physical maze. And kids literally died in this what? competition. <laughs> Bro, why are you guys laughing? A maze! That sounds so Tim, Why are you guys laughing? So he was in that competition and he almost died. But I think he has a thing for Asians. So how did That's they cool. die? How did they die? Like like drowning or no okay that's an uh, accident yes he was telling me no one knows how they died it was in like an unsupervised area where they just died like very uh, old what tongue. Is, what, what's wrong yeah. with you babe no, okay. stop laughing okay, sorry but let me tell you i think he has a thing for asians because at that boarding school there was during the competitions you know how all three boarding schools are there uh -huh. there's this huge dance like a ball and you get to ask people he asked an asian so I'm like, maybe he's into Asians. Maybe that's why we dated. I don't know. So is your ex gonna know what you do right now? Like, does he... I don't know. Like, really? is he like very unhinged right now? No, or? he's like, he's not unhinged. What's his name? Yeah, is it on the news? Yes. He's all over the news. Are you kidding? This is my ex. <laughs> he didn't realize a twilight. He's in Goblet of Fire. He's in Goblet of Fire before he was in Twilight. He was on Harry Potter and he... Dude. Wait, so who's the other guy in the other oh, class? The werewolf. This is my friend. Oh, yeah, 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 friend. that's right. Oh my god. Are you, this is him right now. 
Oh my god. Um, so you want to hear about my ex? What kind of drama you have? Bro, I already know the plot to Monkey King. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay. so my ex was yeah. really old. Bro. Oh my god, okay. Okay, I'm gonna guess which one. <laughs> And she had a lot of girlfriends too. They live like really further away, right? And then like I was going on a tour. I was traveling. <laughs> <laughs> Are you bald? <laughs> Why is he bald? Are you always on a whore? <laughs> so I was traveling okay. with three of my bros. Okay. I was riding a horse okay. and they were like walking. Okay. Yeah. And then like we stopped by this town and it was pretty famous. They're famously female only. <laughs> Whoa! The and then, yes, and when they saw me, they were like, Whoa, we haven't seen a dude in a long time. <laughs> come in, come in. <laughs> That's basically her him. Him <laughs> and the other woman. That's a perfect picture. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, our lives seem so boring, you guys. I want to show you guys what we have planned. I'm about to film a mukbang. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this pizza to get here. New York style pizza, baby. See you guys after I film. <laughs> I think this is why your brother doesn't like it when we hang out because every time we do something, we're always picking some shit up. I thought your brother would catch on faster. I thought he'd be quicker. I thought he'd be like, wait, isn't this Twilight? That's not what happened. So I saw another prank on TikTok where. There was a couple who said that she had a stomach ache and so the past couple of hours I kept saying like Ah, oh, my stomach doesn't really feel great and I'm hoping that I can make a fake poop It's in the trash can? What? I saw on TikTok that you can take this, wet it in water Oh, it's getting weird Ew Oh, it's getting really weird And you form it to look like poo uh, I think I need more mushy More mushy? Do you have really mushy poop? <laughs> I'm gonna go downstairs and say, honey, my stomach hurts so much. And then I'm gonna grab my stomach, squat down. Wait, how do I keep that in my screen? Wow, that's beautiful. Okay. I don't know. It's beautiful. It's my poo. Wait, wait that looks like paper tower. Do you think so? It doesn't look like poo. Is that too big? No, but if it's too small. That big. <laughs> Guys, welcome to art class with Tiffany and Stephanie. <laughs> oh my god, this looks like poop. <laughs> Why do we always come out? Nasty prank. I still remember last time. I'm so stressed. I saw one. talk to you guys about something crazy. I was talking to Mr. Jew. You all need to know who Mr. Jew is, okay? But in Korea, you know the Korean trash system that we were talking about, which is so freaking insane? Uh-huh. And I was complaining about it on Sunday when he came over and I was like, it's, okay, I'm not complaining, but just saying like, that's crazy, imagine living there. And he said, yeah, that's why I hate going to Korea, blah, blah, blah. He said, the trash system is so insane. Like you gotta put eggshells in a different spot. Like it's insane. He said the other day he was golfing. He gets a call from Korea. He picks up. It's like the, the sanitary department of South Korea and they called and said that you did your trash mom. My stomach hurts, sorry. The sanitation worker is like, we're gonna be investigating because- Is this a, like another Twilight story you're telling me? <laughs> Turns out Mr. Ju's mom is staying at his place and throughout the trash wrong. They check all the CCTV cameras. He said, you think it's late at night and you think someone's not gonna notice you doing the trash wrong? CCTV camera. Boom, you're cut. You gotta pay a fine. He does a lot of business in China, which we're trying to go to China at the end of the year. And he said in Shanghai, he said they're crazier. Yeah. I think Korea divides it into like five categories. Shanghai might divide it into like 12 or something. <laughs> yes, yeah, 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 last time I went back, and I can't, I don't even know, I was eating crab, crab, and I don't even know where. Are you okay, honey? Yeah. And I was um, eating crab. Hello? Oh. Guys? Are you okay? What's going on? Are you shaking? What's going on? Wait, are you okay? <laughs> are you okay? Did you get Pepsi or anything? <laughs> Wait, what the heck? <laughs> what are you saying right now? 
<laughs> you did not poop. There's no way you poop. No fucking way. Here. <laughs> Show it to the vlog. I can poop. Here, you gotta help her. Why don't you give me this? I poop both ways. You poop in your pants? It came out. Oh my came god. Came out of what? Why are you laughing? <laughs> your poop went out of your underwear, went through your dress, landed on the ground. No, when I was getting up, it went through my underwear. Your poop came out of your underwear. <laughs> your okay, poop. then pick it up if you don't believe me. Stop the poop for you. <laughs> Let me see the poop. <laughs> Honey, what is that? <laughs> what is that? What's your laughing at, Tiffany? You guys are so stupid. <laughs> I pranked you. You got pranked for a moment. For a moment. You believed it. Don't lie to me. One second you believed it. Nope. Not even like two seconds. Oh my god, that does kind of look like poop. What? Because it is poop. Wow. <laughs> my name is Iron Woman, and I am suiting up for work. Reporting for duty. Yes, I can hear you. Wow, the voice is so cool. Roger that. Oh, that's my voice. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I know what you mean. Am I really gonna go outside like this? Okay. It's cool. You think so? Everyone in my family sent me links to this when it came out and was like, you need to get this. Because every single year, for some reason, my allergies keep getting worse and worse and worse to the point where when I step outside, I cannot go outside the day that I film a podcast or the day that I film a BAM or the day that I film a mukbang, which is almost every day. I can't go outside. I can't even go to the mailbox. So sometimes he takes the dogs out and he goes to the mailbox. He hangs out in the backyard. And this is me. This is me. So Stephanie has intense <laughs> dust my allergy. If she goes outside, she's allergic to pollens and trees and some freaking grass and stuff. So she can't go outside. She can get Stay close inside. to too much fabrics. Yeah, like I think it's natural selection. So just to give you guys an idea, okay? All of our couches and all of our beds Everything gets steamed with like this UV dust mite killing wand. Not a wand, it's a vacuum and it's UV light. And then the pod room, everything in that room is basically sterile at this point. Even the freaking pod mic, the cover of it, we stick it into a UV, like a chamber, <laughs> where it UV sanitizes it. Oh yeah, my allergies are so bad, we actually have EpiPens at home. So that's how bad it is. And what is this? This is the Dyson Zone. What everyone thought was an April Fool's joke, including me, myself, and I, okay? Then we found out that these were released in China, and then we were like, wait a damn minute. Tiffany was like, everyone's wearing this in China, you need to get it. This is before we went to Korea, and I was like, mm, I think I'll be fine in Korea. Do you guys remember the Korea vlogs? Tiffany, Korea was so insane. This is how I woke up in the morning. Hey, everyone. Middle of the day. Hey, everyone. End of night. Hey, everyone. <laughs> I've never experienced that before in my life. So this right here are headphones. I didn't buy it for the headphones. I bought it for this attachment. Do you guys see how big this is? It's because there are air filters in here. And once I snap this on and click this button. Is that a battery? <laughs> You want to know my brilliant way of testing it out? I'm going to test it by making Chinese, Chinese stinky noodles. noodles. You know how I really wanted to test it? How? I was going to ask you to poop in the bathroom and then I would walk into the bathroom, but I feel like that might be like a relationship killer. Because we don't poop around but each other. But my poop don't stink though. Be fucky for real. In New York, he uses the restroom. We're so sensitive. <laughs> he goes, can you play something? What? You he doesn't want really like that. that. Wait, 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 wait. When Paul poops, nobody plays anything. You just no? keep, keep the room super oh, silent. I tell Paul sit in front of me. <laughs> what? You're like. You're serious? I tell him sit outside. Of Shut the up. <laughs> wait, so he hears everything? No, you can't hear anything. He doesn't hear boop, boop, boop. No, I he never hears boop, boop, boop. So I'm gonna wait for those to charge and then I'll show you guys if it actually works because if not, I'm. Might return it because this is probably the most ridiculous purchase I've ever made. <laughs> One minute, 37 seconds later. It's of a five year old, so I charged it for like two minutes. Okay, I really want to see if it works. Give it to me. Ding, ding, ding. Ah. Two very boring minutes later. Moment of truth. Zan? So we're gonna test it out with the infamous Chinese Luo Shifan. Whenever I eat this, Paul would die. <laughs> 
Okay, ready? Yeah, I yeah. like it. I'm ready. So it has a very strong scent. Okay, ready? Woo! Smell it, Tiffany. Oh, oh. <laughs> Don't you smell nothing? I smell a little. <gasps> I'm putting it next to the fan. Wow. Oh, I smell a lot. <laughs> oh, I think it doesn't filter scent. Oh, like regular air purifier? It only filters like dirty stuff in the air. Are you a lost baby girl? <laughs> <laughs> let me try, let me Let's try. try. If someone doesn't like this smell, it could be a torture chamber, okay? Wait, is this? It's a little bit stinky. Whoa, it's so strong without it though. Yeah, it's worse yeah. without it. It yeah. does do something. It, it's, it's, it filters like... body odor. Oh yeah, you oh, got yeah. a lot of body odor. Oh yeah, you did. <laughs> Wait, can I let you listen to something? What is it? Are you showing her my snort? I woke up to this noise. These days, I've been waking up to... <laughs> 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 and then his alarm goes off and he's just <sighs> and I'm like, don't fucking wake up like some little princess, okay? <laughs> the reason I record is because once in a while I'll be like, oh my god, you just snored. And he goes, No, I don't. Honey, so before I go, I just have one last story to tell you. I had a friend uh, who both of his parents were murdered, and he's like the chosen one. Shut up. And he has this really weird scar on his forehead. <laughs> I'm just saying, I had a lot of friends, guys. A lot of boyfriends, I had a lot of friends. Please let me know in the comments which friend you've also had. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Make sure you check out Case to Buy linked in the description. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ah.